Hey everybody, Dan Harlicker back again with another sneak peek of a feature that we're working on for the fall for On One Photo Raw 2025. Now anybody who shoots a lot of photos is gonna love this feature. It doesn't matter if you shoot weddings or people, or if you shoot lots of photos to combine together for things like HDR, or panoramas, or focus stacking, or time lapse. If you shoot sports action, or wildlife, or aviation, or motorsports, or real estate, or you just can't keep your finger off the motor drive, you're gonna love this feature. And that is stacks. Stacks allow you to group similar photos or related photos or brackets of photos together inside of Browse without creating a subfolder. Let me show you how it works here. Here's a common scenario. This happens to be a high school senior photo shoot. And whenever you shoot people, you tend to shoot several photos of the same scene, asking the subject to change their expression or where they look or to make sure that your photos are simply in focus and you've captured the best expression. But in reality, even though there are 220 photos in this folder, there's probably only 10 or 12 winners, the ones that are actually the best of each one of those series. So we want to be able to group these together so we can then evaluate the best shot of each series. So let me show you how you can do that with stacks. I'm going to start off and I'm going to grab all of the photos that look similar to each other. So this group of five or so here all look pretty much the same to me. So I'm just going to grab all of those guys. I'm going to right click and now from the context menu, I can select group into stacks. I can also use the Control G or the Command G keyboard shortcut, which makes it a lot faster to make those as well. So I'll just group that into a stack. And you notice when I do that, all of those photos collapse down into one thumbnail here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. You'll see how it has a little number five on it that tells me there are five photos in that stack. And if I click on that stack icon, it's going to expand the stack. I'll be able to see all of the photos that represent that stack. When I roll it up, by clicking on that same icon again, I'll just see the top photo in the stack. Now I can repeat that process to create multiple stacks. And I can even use the keyboard shortcuts for doing that. So for example, I'll select this photo. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna arrow through all the photos that are similar, in this case only two. And then I'll hit the Control G or Command G keyboard shortcut. And that'll roll it up for me automatically. Those next two are kind of independent ones on their own. This whole series looks pretty much the same. And I could pick these out of sequence as well. So let's say I want to grab these first two, skip these third and fourth, and grab these ones. And we're going to group those together. And then we'll grab those two that look a lot alike. We'll group these together. Same thing, all of these except for that one, and group them together. So you can see how very quickly it starts to weed our way down to just the individual photos that are interesting to me. Where this really becomes handy is now when I want to go evaluate a stack to pick my favorite within them. I can select a stack, and when I go into Compare View, I can roll the stack out to expand it and select all of the photos in the stack. Now I can see every photo in the stack all at the same time here in Compare View, and I can look through them to pick my favorite photo. So in this case, the first photo happens to be my favorite. I'm just going to give it a five-star rating so that I can keep track of it. When I'm done, I just close that stack up and I move on to the next stack. And again, to evaluate them, I can just expand the stack, select both photos, and pick which one is my favorite. In this case, I actually like the second photo as my favorite. I'll give it a five-star rating, but I'll also right-click on it, and from the Stacks menu option, I'm going to set it to this top. If it's my favorite photo, I want it to be at the top of the stack. That's the one that I'm going to see. So by using the set to top option, it's going to move that photo to the top of the stack. Now you can create stacks inside of Browns and you can expand and collapse them and navigate through them in any of the different views within inside of Photo Rock. It's a great way to help you consolidate similar shots together, help you pick your favorite one and speed up your workflow. Thanks for watching.